Good morning, guy. Um, today we are replacing the Google 6 Pro screen. Okay, so let's jump in. So as you can see, this one here is badly damaged. Uh -oh. We have to double check, is that the housing still good to replace it or not? Uh, man. So what you're trying to do now is separate the screen from the mid frame. One of the reasons this one is um, easy to remove, I believe because of the, it's badly damaged. And uh, so that's why it's uh, take us a little bit lesser time try to separate the glue in there. Um, Well, currently it's a Google 6 Pro, it's just uh, been released for probably a few months now, so the stock is still pretty expensive. Um, so to do the good job for, for this repair, we need to really careful to double check the housing will be okay or not. So, as you can see here, this is the finger sensor so it connect to the screen right and then there is a frame a little bit of glue around the edge um, hopefully the housing of this Google 6 Pro is okay otherwise we have there's a big job of replacing the housing I believe it's a, 
I believe it's gonna be a pretty big job. Uh, you have to remove everything and then reassemble it. They, only, they got two screw to hold uh, only one screw and then there is a the bezel there okay um, now if you are about to remove that connector uh, a little bit of careful there because it's not easy to move and uh, it's not easy to take out so and then we don't want to do anything damage to the board I try to copy from this side to lift up the the connector And always to remember uh, all of this glue, they we better to remove it before installing a new screens in there. Uh, so um, it will make the job easier later on. Make sure no glue, no broken glass left um, look at this one the the housing a bit bent so hopefully i will be able to do a little bit of adjustment for for this housing Mm. Uh, before before adjusting the housing I would like to try the new screen is that okay or not and then we can we can make a decision of what we should do for the housing So this replacement screen I already installed the the finger sensor. Okay. However, if you want to um, using a finger sensor, you might have to factory reset the uh, the Google uh, the phone. So uh, and it will be a little bit of uh, drama. So take care.
remove any leftover glue otherwise you might damage a new screen pretty big drop here but right now we have no back glass for the 6 Pro I'll tell you what, I will try this thing first. See is that gonna fit in. And then then attach the screen later on. To me it's look okay. Alright, let's see. what we do now is removing the the original finger sensor and hopefully we don't need to do a calibrating the um, the finger sensor of the phone again so let's hope the bat When removing the finger sensor, you have to be very careful because of the cable is pretty fragile. Um, sometimes you have to using both isopropene and using a, a heat pad to safely remove it.
All right, so this is the original finger sensor. Stick the camera holder to the new screen. So what we do is uh, now we're gonna pre-test the new screen, see what is going on and is that good to do the full installation. So uh, okay, so far. It look not too bad to me. It's a in acceptable condition, and then uh, lucky the owner having a, a good case, so uh, we can using a case to cover the a broken back glass. All right, let's turn it on. Hmm. Okay. Which size? Mm. Okay. Looks so sick, bro. Not too bad. Just a quick check for some other functions. See the phone is working properly. Um, okay, the first step we do is the Screen test, okay. It's passing, so that's good. So it should look good to me. Second test is charging port. Uh oh. Okay, that's good. 
stretching because after a big drop you never know what might not working inside the phone so okay why I let it charging I do a bit of camera yeah back cams working front front cams working so it look good okay now the next step is going to be I'm going to put the seams in and then see what's going on now let's check one of the uh, dummy seems in the phone and make sure it's still receiving signal no drama this phone they have a bit of problem with the that button but I think we can leave with that not too bad okay let's see yep they have a 5g so the sim sim tray is working all right now um i'm gonna do the um testing with the finger sensor setting finger sensor see is that working or not mm. i myself i'm not using any finger sensor because it, so we're accepting the seams here. Mm, setting network connected device storage display security safety password and account. Oh, be this one. I don't know. Okay. Security, you have a security and find my device, screen lock, Google, uh, not that one. Where is my finger sensor? Let's try add another finger one. Mm. So look guys, uh, when done perfect let's try it again not recognize i know my finger sometimes is not working well so i'll try it again Okay, I think it's working, but uh, just uh, making sure I will try with my different finger. Delete. When the phone able to recognize your finger, that means it should have worked.
that's yes okay it's working 100% now this is the last um, now we need to prepare the glue to finally seal the screen to the mid frame thank you for watching and uh, I hope you like this video bye bye